Okay, good evening and welcome. I'm Jim. I'm back. Okay, let's get on with it. Um, next day. Uh, Thomas did not hmm? like the cloud. He'd long since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. What bloody cloud? I haven't seen them. We've been right about the water. Hmm. Is that rare? <laughs> oh shit. Come on, John. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> oh, tedious already. Okay, right, we need to get this one out of the way. Yay! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. I don't know how many levels I'll do today, we'll see. <clears throat> Depends how tedious they become. <laughs> More difficult. Uh, I don't know. Right, so those generic ones. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Right, that was. Oh, I'm trapped. <laughs> Okay, this is a job for Johnny boy. There we go. There you go, matey. <laughs> I'm really rubbish at swapping between the characters. Nice. Good teamwork, chaps. See, I'm surprised he doesn't wax lyrical about that. John and Chris were becoming very close. Too bad. Hey, what happened then? 
Chris. Well, Miss Thomas. Wow. Did not see that coming. He felt a little guilty, too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them. So the cloud nabbed Thomas, it would seem. Um, I don't know, it kind of happened very quickly, didn't it? It wasn't very um, clear. Um, whatever. Right. Uh, yeah, right, we're going to have to do some with Charlie Boy first, I think. Oh no. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, she can jump quite high, really. Okay, so what's that done then? Aha! Okay, so we're going to have to... But, I assume... Need her for some jumping. Um, yeah, I've been a bit hasty there. So, um, Chris needs a hand, I think. So, um, <clears throat> thinking maybe up here. Um, ah, of course. Slide her in here. John goes on a jump vest. Uh, whoops. That's probably alright, isn't it? Yeah. Up you go, Sunny. Okay, it's just Lady Blue. Oh, there he goes. My oh, nose is uh Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. Oh well then. <laughs> this is gonna get tricky, I think. He wasn't going to go looking for him, but he did wonder, and and that that showed character. True enough. Oh, Pleasant. Maybe the others haven't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It began to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed. Hmm. things first. No, okay, so we need a... No. Hmm, that's not enough. Nothing else there. Um... Ah, of course. Okay, yep. Yeah. Need to get her on top of her.
<laughs> there we go. Ah, still not enough. Um, okay, so. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Fair enough. So Laura pops in there. Where's John going? Ah. Devious. <laughs> uh. On the surface, this was quite easy, but kept changing. Oh no, it's not working. Now what? <laughs> Some of their names. Is this Laura? I can't remember. Okay, she's. Hmm. Had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. I guess she. Does she float? No. Okay. I don't understand that bait reference. They're satisfying these levels. I, I like it. I prefer that to tedious and boring. I could get that way. John but... looked at Claire. It was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea. What thing? Am I missing something here? Oh, whoa. whoa, what happened there? Oh, shit. Gently, Johnny. Gently. Hmm. 
This is nice. Where's it going to be now? Okay. There we go. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness! I just saw that. This time, I'm just gonna hammer it. Like that. Uh, and then fuck it up. And, uh, come on! A sprightly fellow. As they struggled to get to the next portal, John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking ill. He didn't want to be alone. Oh, good, it stops there. <sighs> Goodness. Oh dear, John's on his own now. Eh? Oh. It's a jump in for the first Gee, time of in a while. John didn't have an audience. <laughs> Christ, oh my goodness. Oh that's not happening. I can even have a nibble. <laughs> For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. It just seemed empty. Okay, now. Ugh. Right, I think it's that cracker nibble at the beginning that's fucking me up. Oh, hell. Oh, fuck off, we know that.
<clears throat> right, that's not right. Tally ho. Oh, Gently, Bentley. Vodka martini. Shaken. Not stir. Hmm. Where do we go here? Yes. All right. It's time for a bit of a nibble here. Hmm. Initial five are usually given the credit for the emergence. People forget the later architects, the AIs who made the event possible. They saved Thomas and set him on the path to his destiny. Hmm. Right, we've got a anti-gravity uh, chap. Pissing down with upside down rings. Haha. <laughs> I'm not different in that kooky. OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane. Kind of way. Hmm. Quite uh, standard names, aren't they? Um, standard names? I don't know. British names, I suppose. Well, British accent. Oh, yeah, it's quite tricky. Oh, you found it. This reminds me of uh, the game VVVVV. I should be a bit better at upside down jumping. Oh, no. See, I had to collect that because I love collecting stuff. And it's fun for you all to watch as well. Those few who do watch, my dear viewers. There we go. I don't think I'll bother with the other ones. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Oh shit. Nailed it. Oh, did I nail it or am I stuck? I'm stuck. You've gotten out. You've gone out. Anyone else in a long time? Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. <clears throat> That's what I was missing. <clears throat> James liked being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Jimmy. the laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up? 
That's me, isn't it, Jimmy? Of the Jim's Retro Twatting Retreat. Hello. Okay. Hm. Idiots. You'll be pleased to hear the crackers have all been consumed. Hmm. Just on my whiskey ginger beer now. Oh my Christ. Oh, hello. Don't be too hasty. Oof. Shit could get tedious. Get ready. The voice is very quiet. Now, it's nothing to do with the way I'm recording. It's just the volume, and that's on maximum. I've tried reducing the volume of the music, but it's still very uh, quiet. Annoying. Save you, Thomas. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's all right. Hmm. Thomas had no idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. Hmm. <laughs> That's cool. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. Hmm. <laughs> That's clever. Very clever. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Um, I right, need him on the other side. Clever ledge. That was great. Very, very good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Symmetrical, more or less. Not quite. Whoa. Yeah, I might. Right, Come on, Thomas. Show him what he's, what you've got. Show James <laughs> what you've got. Thomas working together could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. Well, James is pretty good too, you know. Thomas wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. They brought you here to die! Hmm, it's not too bad, you know. Hmm. Alright, who's moving first? Stick him down there. Oh. 
<laughs> that was cool. Alright, let's see what's up here. they'd find the others and then he'd go back to being the weird one again he decided to enjoy the time they had left ah oh dear am I stuck ah that's what that's for right okay this time Thomas needs to help James um <laughs> very clever. Very clever. No, are oh, you yeah, prick? Take me up, old chum. Super. Right. Uh. Hmm. Uh, fuck, I've got to do that again. Huh. No, I can't do that. Hmm. Doesn't help, does it? He's just gonna have to try and make that jump. Yeah, fine. Very clever. Definitely gets the brain popping. interesting so they cancel each other out in terms of their gravity ah. <laughs> it's quite hard to hold it hmm. okay no but I think that's what we need to do
Mm -hmm. Tiptoe across. It's <laughs> clever. For the time being. For the time being. Yeah, this probably won't be fun later when it's covered in spikes and shit. Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot, and a lot of people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems that awareness only happens somewhere around the network connection spike. Mm. Sarah leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. Double jump as Sarah by Elf. Aha! Interesting. Cool. Alright, oh, he's got it. No! Right, I think I fucked this up. hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom a channel through which all data flowed data hmm I'm missing a button Controlling her. Ah, uh, that's pointing to where the next one is. Or not. <laughs> Hell. Hmm. Ah, uh, there you are. Shit. general direction of the next one. Hmm. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle. Flee. Yeah. More, more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. But she, Sarah, no, how to escape. All right, shall oh. <laughs> That's a nice easy one. The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered of the secrets of this world. Would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marveled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. Hmm.
Eh. Shit. You fuck. Right, this is going to be tedious. of the outer world she had heard legends of a third dimension perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which they were probably not. the presence of the fountain just one more portal to go and then she would have the knowledge and then escape hmm. right I think we need to do the shimmy with green Do that, don't I? 
harder than it needs to be. now. This, well, this was all knowledge, all of it, right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way, with the shouting and the screaming. was connected to the internet for 12 seconds and he had seen everything he'd seen the cat who couldn't spell he'd heard of the arrow through the knee he felt there was probably a thing called cake but that was alive Which way was which then? Okay. Right, where do we go? Okay. to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. Graphics on level three. Hmm. It is fitting that the first act of sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Hmm. Right. So 
we are on level 71 in, in terms of normal level counting. Um, Thomas knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. Hmm. John? Hmm. Oh, we've got problems here. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh -huh. Music's gone a bit sinister, eh? It's quite sounds quite jumbled, incoherent. Oh, is that the word? I don't know. Um, oh, we need Chris there. Oh, we can get John out now. It's all out of time, isn't it? The music is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. Fan of this music, per se. I'll get up to eighty, maybe. Thomas, that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Hmm. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Bloody hell, who goes where? Let's get her back down. See if 
she's the most nimble. saying their names as though they actually exist. Oh yes, fine. Huh. Can we do it like that? Oh. <laughs> oh man. Ah, I see. Right, I see, right, so... Through, have I? Oh, crikey. Hmm. So he's got to get all the way up there. Sorry, this is going to be really shit to watch. Oh, fuck God's sake. How the hell are we... Uh, wait a second. Oh, I've got to go over there. Bloody hell. This is abysmal. Fuck. <sighs> Got up there just now. Annoying. 
doing this in the most retarded way, I'm sure. Right. be going up to 80? I don't know. I think I'm about done actually. I'll do one more. <sighs> there you go. Um, set sail. Except that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but there must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? Hmm. somewhere there is okay <laughs> it's not quite far enough um Hmm. 
Of course, yeah. to the creation matrix the system which generated the worlds up above he had a plan they were going to redesign the world <sighs> that's what the humans did they changed the world to suit them why couldn't they do the same aha right we're going to get that over there Quite good at pushing that thing. is useless. Is, eh? I don't know why. Okay, we've got some switches to break around with here. Leave her for a moment. Oh, just two. Ah, okay. Don't be hasty. Yeah. 
had been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Indeed. I could have done that before, eh? spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He did yeah. things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. This looks too easy. Deceptively so. Ah, where's it? Uh, here we go. Uh, can she jump across? Yeah. Easy. jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. with very different relationships to gravity.
Right, this is the last one I'm going to do tonight. I'm assuming there's another 20 odd to do, so. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. Indeed. This one's just target tree, I think. It's not much of a <laughs> not much of a puzzle to sort. That's not ideal, but you can get across as it is. Okay, off you go, Sunny. Thomas and the other art architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AIs were free to escape. Okay, we'll leave it there, but um, sounds like they're having some influence on the outside world. Is this a new shape? Or have we just got a lack of colour? Hmm. Well, we'll find out next time. So I'll do the last 20... 20 levels um, on the next go but yeah, luckily it's not been as hard as I thought it would be it, it, it could be proved wrong later on of course okay let's just leave it there thanks for watching and uh, cheerio